I'm gonna go as quick as possible to see how this works out. This is the weekend edition. Good to June 4th, 2017. And my name is D7. And I'm gonna do this very quickly. You let me know if you like the speed. Overall, the markets hit record territory. Everybody in bullish territory, however, banks, financials not participating in the bullish move on a Friday. Crude oil lower, the US dollar lower. Gold higher, silver higher by quite a bit. VIX continuing to drop fear down. Here we are looking at the daily chart on the S&P. And on Thursday, we broke all sorts of resistance. Boom, up through a lot, a big trend line, and we had follow through. On decent volume, we are up, up, and away, hitting record highs in the markets. I'm going to look here at the weekly chart on the S&P 500. And I'm going to show you that we have a bearish divergence on the MACD. We have a rising wedge. Overall, the big picture is this is on the weekly chart bearish. This is bearish. However, next couple weeks, we can continue to go higher. I think next week should be a bullish week. But anything can happen. If I look here at the monthly chart on the S&P, call it a buyback here in November 2016. And we've continued gone higher and higher and higher. I mean, we're pretty extended here, guys. So this is a monthly, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven or eight months in a row to the upside. We are begging. Uh, we're pretty extended. We're begging to drop. We're begging to drop. So this could happen any time. The question is on the trajectory that it's on right now. If we're going at this trajectory, do you see this? If we stay on that trajectory on a monthly, we're basically going to have to double or at least 80% of this run here. So in other words, we have another six to seven months going higher before we even hit resistance. The question is, is that logical? Can that happen? The answer is yes, it can happen. But is it probable? probably not going to happen. So in other words, I think that we have a better chance of dropping, especially with the volume dropping, as you can see here, the higher that we go. Now, month just got started here in June. Oh, and by the way, on Thursday's video, I did miss, <laughs> I did misspeak on my quarters. Anyway, um, that happens. Going here to the diamonds. This is the Dow. We're looking at the daily first. We, we popped up here in May and going into June, do this little pullback and then boom, higher, hitting all sorts of record highs, doing very well there in the markets. Things are looking good. It's going higher on increased volume, but it's still relatively low volume. See what the weekly is showing us on the Dow 30. The weekly is... We can't get off of support here. We have support, support, support. It's it's not releasing higher, at least not yet. This could turn out to be a big bullish pennant and it could explode higher. It could do that. However, it's in suspect area on the weekly chart. If we look here at the monthly chart to see if the monthly chart would give me any sort of indication of what to expect, I have a warning sign up here. The warning sign is we've been running higher, 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 but we're at major resistance right now. So I foresee it's dropping fairly soon on the monthly chart, meaning going into June, July, I mean, going into the rest of this year, it could be a very turbulent, bearish rest of 2017. It really could be. If you look at the tech stocks, this is the NASDAQ. NASDAQ just exploded on Friday. Just boom! to the upside on huge volume. It's just so strong. I mean, the economic data is, wow, it's it's keeping, a, there's a lot of optimism in the markets today. Weekly chart on the NASDAQ, called it a buyback here in April, and we go higher, higher, higher and higher it's we're really doing well everything looks like it's just to the upside look at the moving averages see see how they're 
coming higher and then flaring apart from each other. That's a very bullish move anytime you see that. Monthly chart on the NASDAQ. As last month, we busted through this month. We're continuing higher, but we're only getting the month started here. But it just shows how bullish it's been. We've gone up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row. Very extended, guys. Very extended. If I go here to small caps, this is the Russell's 2000 ETF. And the daily, I want you to pay special attention to this. This is a chart that is of, of interest to me. Um, let me see. Do I want that line there? Uh, actually, I'm going to delete this line. We called it down, 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 down. We pop, go higher, and then we get up into these areas of resistance right here. And people sold into that on small caps. And it comes right back down. This is weakness, guys. Uh, and we're seeing it on the daily chart on the small caps, which will be the first ones to drop. So that is something to watch for. Let's see what the weekly is showing us. The weekly is showing us is a big rising wedge, big bearish divergence. This is bearish, guys. And let me see if I can pull another line on this one. I can. And on the weekly, we're toying with resistance area. See that? This is going, I have a buy on it this week because I just have to. But this could blow up in my face immediately. It needs to break through this big blue trend line for us to, for small caps to heal itself. Okay. Monthly. I think we're at danger area, and I think that we have a good chance of going down. But here's the deal. This is a high base. This could easily, 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 small caps could easily do this now. So we are at a very important time. Watch small caps. The small caps will lead the charge going into the future. So watch the Russell's 2000 ETF. This is called the IWM. Very important to watch that. And that'll help you. Quick look at the banks. This is the monthly. We'll start with the monthly. I have a sell on it back here in March, but the problem is not a problem. I think that we're going to go higher. So I think that we have a good chance of putting a buy signal on. I think that's what's coming next. This is a great bull pullback. Look, you go higher, 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 a little bull pullback. I mean, this is looking really nicely. Let's reverse this. Let's go to weekly and drop. We're down, 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 down. This is just a big bull flag guys i foresee this going higher i think i'm gonna have a buy on this very soon i could almost put that buy now on this but i gotta wait for confirmation but the banks look like they're getting ready to rally to the upside that's great if i look here to the daily on the banks we busted out on thursday broke resistance and there's the buy and we continued higher but people sold in it came back down but we're still above this area of resistance now it's acting as support for the banks daily okay a uh, quick look at the u.s dollar daily uh really dropped on friday big drop i have a buy here i'm not ready to put a sell on it not oh boy i probably should actually probably should uh, i'm gonna put a sell on it on the US dollar, if it does start to continue down, that would be really good on the markets. Let's look at the weekly US dollar. US dollar. So here's weekly US dollars. This is a bullish formation. Up, 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 big bull flag and a falling wedge. Have a sell on it, but I think I'm getting ready to go bullish. And there's my indication saying look for it to do that next. That certainly could happen. Quick look here at the monthly. So it has a rising wedge that did break down, so it's bearish. But I think we can get a small pop here on the monthly on the U.S. dollar. Okay, and crude oil. We're going to get into crude and gold next. But crude oil daily I had a buy yesterday, and it killed me because I listen Thursday. I put a buy, and I was I was early because I saw this big glorious candle. Put a buy before the market was closed, and by days in it come crashing down. 
but I'm staying true to my calls and I'm underwater on this one. So it dropped, but I'm going to stay with my buy. This could be an area of support. We'll just see. We'll just see. If you go here to the weekly, the weekly chart, again, this is crude oil weekly. Symmetrical triangle. We're at support, guys. We're at support. This could break out. If it breaks down, I'll put a sell on it. But right now, um, big symmetrical triangle. Anything can happen. It's a little more bearish than it is bullish at this moment. But as long as it stays in the confines, the apex of this triangle, anything can happen. You really have to wait for it to break down or to break up to make any big call on it. And the monthly, the monthly on oil is down, 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 a bearish pennant or a bearish flag, and it did drop, drop, drop. But we're at support. So this, I have a sneaky suspicion, it's going to bounce next. So crude oil on the monthly could certainly do that okay and let's get into a gold 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 daily boom broke resistance on friday up 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 and away uh wow that's that's impressive guys uh let's see what the weekly is showing us and the weekly closed over resistance. It is buy sitting. I called it a buy. I've been saying it, guys. Buy, buy, buy. And this is, and it continues. It's this is a good sign on the weekly chart. Daily it broke resistance. Weekly it just broke resistance. That's great. Let's see what the monthly is doing. Monthly, monthly broke resistance a couple months ago, and it is staying true. It's pretty extended, but it's on the right side, the bullish side here of this trend line. And let's take a quick look at silver. Daily chart on silver. Um, a lot of chops the last couple of days. We continuously just see higher ground with silver daily. Silver weekly. Symmetrical triangle. Anything happen? We are on the upside swing, but we found resistance. 20 week moving average. And the monthly here. Monthly broke finally it's just breaking it's starting to break i think that even though i have a buy on it already i do see upside potential on silver and just to be well-rounded a quick couple looks of vix this is a fear indicator vix has just been going down 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 on the daily chart daily chart let's look at the weekly chart on fear down 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 on weekly chart and the monthly chart let's see what's going on uh, just a slow grind to the south and record low areas to the downside we are just there's no fear in this market next slide that you see we'll show you how to get free trading tutorials so do that catch you guys later like it if you like it